He just came home over on Sunday. I was at work. I came home and I'm like, what are you doing over here, Tim? I'm, well, I need to talk to you. I just saw you a month and a half ago. I haven't seen him in 10 years prior to that. And um, he said he's in trouble. I said, well, you need to go back and turn yourself in. You know, well, how, I didn't know how severe the charge was going to be. He but, says in trouble. But he was going to go back. I, I talked to him to it yesterday. To, you need to go back. And he was, he wanted to see But he was he, planning on going back. That's what he told you? Yes, he was going to go back. To turn himself in? Yes. Did he tell you what the trouble was? He just got in a fight with his girl. I guess he, she, he made a threat toward her. And that's all I know. That's, so he came here last night, is that correct? He came on Saturday. No, Sunday. Saturday, okay. Sunday. And you left before the marshals arrived? I was working. You were working? Yes, what you, I was what, you, what went through your head when you heard about there's, him there's firing no, at There's the no plane? words. I, I, I just, I'm in shock. I'm just in shock right now of all this situation going on. I don't even know what to say. It's just. Did you know he had guns? Yes, I did. What kind of guns? I don't know. I just you know he had a whole a hip, but he puts on his you know a little holster, a little I don't know. I don't know anything about guns. I don't even own a gun. <laughs> I don't even own a gun. I don't even want them around me. What but about? he had some in the car. I know he had some in his car. And I said keep them away from my house. You need to go back to Nebraska. I don't want. I don't want any a part of this. What do you think about your house? It's ruined. I'm. I don't have any money to get it fixed. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I don't know what I'm going to do. So police are waiting to go through his car. They're waiting to get a search warrant. Of course, yeah. um, you think they're going to find more guns in there? No, there's not going to be no more guns. There's not going to be any no. more guns? Because I don't own a gun. My husband okay. don't own a gun. My sons own guns. We don't. But in Tim's car? Tim's car, yes. He, had, he did have, yeah, you'll see a whole bunch of there. There's, there's some guns in there. U.S. Marshals told me that supposedly told his girlfriend I'm going to grab my guns and go shoot up a Walmart. Said, I don't know about that one. I did not, I honestly did not know about that. Have you spoken to him since his arrest? No. Did he just, did he just have a breakdown, do you think? What I, the last time I saw him is when they had him in the car. Okay. And they let me talk to him. Just... I haven't seen him in 10 years. I saw him last month. And that's why I said, what are you doing back? I already saw you a month ago. So he showed up without notice. Yeah, so I don't. I didn't really have contact with him 10 years prior. I just talked on the phone, so I don't really know what kind of help, you know. I just know he's been depressed. And up in Nebraska, this girlfriend, you know how long they've been together? About two years or so. Two years. What yeah. do you do for work, or what does he do for work? He hasn't worked. That's why he's depressed, because he got a disability for about a, a year and a half now. He's collecting a year and a half okay. disability. And, injury um, disability? Yeah, injury. So he was on that and he lost it after 17 months so he don't have any money coming in so he's depressed he don't have no money 